Hello YouTube. The painting we're watching today was completed mid-December. It's going out late because it's a gift for my twin brother Philip. He has been begging for years for me to do a painting of his favorite video game series, The Legend of Zelda. This scene is taken from one of the more recent titles, The Breath of the Wild. If you haven't played it and you're into video games, this is a must. Breath of the Wild is an absolute masterpiece and one of Nintendo's most beautiful games. The developers have outdone themselves and it shows. Landscape with an element of a beloved character is my forte, so I chose this scene of Hyrule Castle engulfed by Calamity Ganon. With the sunset and infectious magenta from the Calamity contrasting the open plains of Hyrule, this was a perfect scene for me. I was in a bit of a time crunch to get this painting done so that it would be dry in time for Christmas. I had to use more wet on wet technique that I'm not normally used to. This caused things to get a little soupy when I tried to lay down light gray for the fog and the clouds in the bottom right of the painting. I got as much done before I was able to paint again after the work week. This drying time let me incorporate my wet on dry techniques for the finer detail stuff and foggy tree line. The grassy plains was fun and different. I took what I learned from cloud and sunset creation and used that for the field. I used a variety of green mixed from Hamza yellow and cadmium yellow into my favorite Prussian blue. The orange browns were created from cad yellow and alizarin crimson red and black. Once the blended base was down, I used a 5-0 brush for the grass blades. I only grabbed from the highlights and dark green to avoid mudding the water, so to speak. The round brush has a longer hair than a spotter and lets the paint drag. It's nice for hairs, signatures, leaves, and of course, grass. Painting the hero Link wasn't too difficult. I followed my standard simple shapes and highlights to bring him to life. The foreground trees were next. I mixed up dark forest green and a dark brown. Then I went to town dabbing paint in the general shape of a tree using my fan brush. For branches, I grabbed my number 8 filbert and drug brown through the trees to create branches. After both sides were done, I went back with the highlight green to add more depth. I finished the painting using my wet on dry technique to add white and dark clouds to the middle and right side of the painting. A few more highlights of yellow and black to the field and this painting is done. I had so much fun painting this and again in record time. Next I will be working on a painting for my younger sister Carrie. I cannot give one an ice gift and not the other. I will be tackling Harry Potter for the first time. Thank you for all your support. Until next time, take care.